to view attribution reporting, once you've run your report, simply navigate to the attribution tab. At the top, you'll see your net impressions, the total attributable engagements driven by those impressions, and the total attributable conversions. Then we can view total engagements and conversions on a trend line monthly, weekly, or daily. We can then view the cumulative goal events across time so you can see how many attributable engagements and conversions were driven by the number of impressions on that date. We can then view the campaign performance drivers so we can see which partners or which placements are driving the most conversions. Here we see Media Partner 1 is driving the most number of conversions and also delivered the most number of impressions. Further, we can see the index of effectiveness to see which media partners or placements were most effective in driving those conversion events. Here we can see that media partner one was over indexing in effectiveness. In the analysis section, we can see the total engagement goals and total conversion goals. Further, we can see engagements by partner and conversions by partner. We can select and deselect these media partners to filter out their views. You can compare performance and you can reselect them to filter them back in to easily see the trend line of attributable conversions. Finally, we have our comparison table at the bottom. You can filter specific partners or you can view all and you'll see total performance of impressions delivered by this media partner or by each individual placement and the associated attributable conversions or engagements. In this case, we see that 22,000 purchases were driven by 12 million impressions. We can expand and collapse these fields as well. And we can export this to Excel based on the selections. So you can have an ad hoc report.